Well, the, the course is called Fast Track to Animating in After Effects. Now, a quick tour to our Google Classroom. I have added the link in our chat group. Show and tell. We shall be demonstrating the skill and share with you how it's done. Practice what you learn. The best way to remember is to apply what you've learned right away. So let me explain why this is a big deal. Okay, the fact that you can change. Ask and reflect. We engage you in Q&As and ask you for feedback. So we're going to cover three tools, a couple of tools. And... So go ahead, look for any word you can use in your own language. Okay, so we're going to cover three tools. A couple of tools. Okay, so we're going to cover three tools. Also, your perception of color changes when you have a darker background. The reason why is because you're looking at the essentials screen right here. Um, so let me... Oh, here. Yeah. Right, so choose advanced. Hi, welcome to PCCI Anywhere. Let's begin learning. Good evening, everyone. So it's another informative night brought to you by PCCI Anywhere. I'm Dale Derry, and I'm one of the instructors for photography here at Philippine Center for Creative Imaging. So the topic natin tonight is the art. I did some, yeah, the art of creating typefaces. Uh, but before I introduce our speaker, please let me know in the comment section where you're watching us from. Uh, nasa anong field ka ng digital arts? Graphic artist ka ba? Photographer ka ba? Or maybe a filmmaker? What got you interested um, in this topic? And then you're, the reason why you're joining us uh, tonight. Or maybe ikaw yung tipong gusto mo lang talaga ng ano, maraming natututunan, no? a little bit of uh, everything. So while you're typing in your comments, let me just update you with PCCI's upcoming virtual uh, classes. No? So yes, kung, if you're wondering, uh, kung may face-to-face -face classes na kami, wala pa, but we do have virtual classes. So first is, oh, let me go back there. So character illustration using Procreate for uh, beginners. That's June 18, 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Two-hour session siya. And then we also have on June 19 to 20th, that's effective logo design. Uh, 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. also. Introduction to After Effects, motion graphics and animation. So sa mga nag-edit ng videos, baka may mga vloggers tayong kasama dyan, uh, this class is for you. So that is June 21st to 23rd, no? 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. And then we have infographic design. So we are visual creatures. No? So kailangan, maganda. Yung, it, it helps uh, to understand something when uh, it's presented in uh, visually. No? So this is June 21st to 23rd. 
we have 360 photography. So sa mga photographers, dyan, you can use this uh, for advertising uh, most times. So June 24th to 25th. And then high-end beauty portrait retouching. This is with uh, Albert Pedrosa. So this is June 24th to 26th. So whether for photographers or graphic designers. And then yung mga may chikiting dyan. Now we have PCCI Junior. It's a summer camp, uh, of course, for kids. No? So we have different classes ranging from crafting to graphic design, uh, photography, tapos filmmaking, and even acting workshop no, for kids. Okay, So uh, just make sure that you log in, uh, you sign up for the classes. You just go to our website. So that's pcci.edu.ph. Uh, and, and then you can join your um, class there. Uh, sorry, join the classes there. Sign up there. And then actually, masayang mag, ano, no, mag join ng virtual classes. Kasi para ka rin nasa class, actual class, uh, I think the ben biggest benefit is if you have question, andyan agad yung um, answer. Andyan lang kasi yung instructor. No? So, okay. So we have Miss Katz Crisostomo. Hello. I suppose you're joining us from Parana Q. Okay. Sabi niyo naman kung nasan kayo. Ayan, si Michelle. Michelle. Elbow cuff. Elbow cuff. Tapos, hi, how are you? Tagasan ka, Michelle? I forgot. And then, uh, get million. Hi, heart, heart, heart to you. Kayo ba ay graphic artists din or graphic designers? Okay, I'm from uh, Quezon City. Uh, okay naman kami dito. How are you doing? I hope you're all uh, safe at home. No? All right. So uh, if you have any questions, so again, our topic for tonight is the art of creating typefaces. And anytime you have a uh, question that you would like to ask our instructor, please just comment them. Oh, we have someone viewing us, viewing us from Sydney, Australia. Uh I hope I pronounced this correctly. Estelor Glamour. Okay, Estelor Glamour. Okay, hello to you. Hi to Sydney, Australia. I heard zero cases na yata kayo dyan, you know. Kakainggit. Very good for you. Maria Frances Burgess. My heart, heart, heart. And burn, burn, burn. Burn, burn. Okay. Pauline Albino from Pangasinan. Nakakamiss nun mag-road trip. Okay. Thank you for this webinar. Yes, yeah, well, thank you for joining us tonight. All right. So, we're as much as I am excited about uh, our webinar, I'm also very excited uh, reading yung mga questions. No? So, please keep them, um, um, keep them coming. Okay. So, don't be shy. All right. So, our speaker for tonight took up electrical engineering at Mapua Institute of Technology. But from being an electrical engineer, actually, after he left college, he worked as an artist for a garments factory, a factory uh, designing shirt graphics. So he decided to pursue his love for the arts no, by be becoming a graphic designer. And he has been a graphic designer for more than 20 years now. Wag na compute yung edad. Basta mas matanda siya sa akin. <laughs> He's, he has been a... Uh, uh, he's a freelance consultant uh, and designer, as well as a full-time designer for uh, various companies. Um, he specializes in below-the-line marketing, collateral production, typography, and branding. Ito, medyo madami-dami ito. No? So makikita niyo mamaya sa kanyang descriptor, ang daming uh, letters. Uh, he's an Adobe Certified Expert, or ACE, and he's one of the country's first Adobe Certified Instructor, or ACI, in Illustrator CS6 and Illustrator CC. Currently, uh, he has an Adobe Certified Associate uh, Visual Design Specialist, and he's also a test of Visual Graphic Design NC3, or National Certificate 3, uh, holder. He's also uh, an NTTC holder as because he's uh, a certified trainer uh, 
for visual graphic design NC3 as well. So friends, please welcome our speaker for tonight, uh, Mr. Antonio, or we call him Tony. No? Tony Boko. Yay! Ay, nakamute ka pa. Ayan. Ayan ang daming letters sa ilalim. <laughs> All right. So, Inalish how are you, Tony? Ka. I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh, I'm actually kind of... Uh, I don't know ma- what I'm feeling right now because this is my very, very first time to do this kind of uh, podcasting in YouTube. Yeah. Mga yeah. videos ko sa, sa YouTube na ina-upload ko, mm-hmm. hindi kita mukha ko, so medyo, mm-hmm. alam na. Anyway, uh, I, I'm you quite have excited. Year. Yeah. You have a, a student here, so y- Michelle uh, Dagandan, sabi niya, watching from San Pedro, Laguna, excited to watch our instructor. Go, sir, buku. Ayan. <laughs> Uh, so, actually, may, meron tayong pagkasinan, uh, Australia, and San Pedro, Laguna. Mm-hmm. All, all of these are, were my, uh, my uh, students, yung si Maria, si, S, si, si, uh, si Estelor, tsaka mm-hmm. si Michelle, sa katatapos lang namin na uh, graphic design. Uh, oh. So, oh, that's yeah. good. Thank you for supporting your ano instructor. <laughs> Tapos si ang hindi ko kilala so far si Miss Po. I, I'm I just probably nakalimutan ko lang konti ano uh, probably din estudyante na rin natin dito sa PCCI si Paulina Albino. So. Albino, yeah. Uh, And then uh, get is it get or J million? Get. Get. webinars saka AI Essentials, I believe. Oh, good. So, from Manila naman siya. Ayan. Oo, oh, may fan club. I heard may fan club ka nga dun sa nakarang batch ng ano, visual graphic design, no? <laughs> Pero oh, yeah. sa kanya natin mag-usapan. Anong bang feeling na may fan club? Mahangin. Mahangay, ayun, si Dennis Semedes. Oh, we, si Dennis, we yun, yung numero, <laughs> numero uno, si Dennis. Naging studyante ko yan. Si Eru, watching from QC. Wow. Ayun, si Eru. Of course. <laughs> okay. Sige, mukhang excited na sila. Ang tanong ko lang before you start, Tony, um, what's, uh, who is this... Uh, Who will benefit from this uh, webinar? No, short. And I am damo tututunan, pero we have to keep it short. But who is this webinar for? Well, basically anyone who is interested in growing, doing graphic design, anyone who's handling typefaces, anything, anyone who is basically in 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 line with handling anything that's going to be printed or mm-hmm. broadcasted. Anyone who needs to see uh, and know how to uh, use type uh, and maximize it for for whatever purpose they're going to use it for. And okay. it's, it's one of the reasons why when you're viewing your phone, kapag hindi maganda yung interface, hindi maganda hindi mo mabasa yung interface, you ignore it. Parang gano. Same with, yeah. with anything, okay? Right. Okay. Right. Uh, pa, ano da, before you start, pa shout out daw. Dun sa chat. Shout out. Uh, ano ba ibig sabihin ng shout out? Batiin mo daw siya. Yeah. Ah, okay. Uh, Estelor Gamo, <laughs> si, si Stephanie. Hello, Stephanie. And here's a good shout out for you. Uh-huh. May utang ko ba sa akin sa BGD? <laughs> so, <laughs> And si Maria Frances uh, Burgos. Okay, hello to oh, you. Uh, Kumusta okay. si ano si si Anthony? Kumusta na? Oh yeah, yeah. Ano yung Anthony? Sabi niyo ano na? Kumusta na si like Anthony? Na dapat ina Frances uh, Maria Frances Burgos dapat inaya mo si Anthony ano ngayon kasi di pa binurn kanya so you can burn him as well. Yeah. <laughs> na intriga ako diyan. Sige, babalikan ko yan after ng live. All right, so since excited na tayong lahat, uh, I leave the floor to you Tony. So good luck everyone. Please uh, keep your uh, send in your questions so that Tony can answer them later on. All right. Okay. 
Sabi ni Dennis, nagamit ko na ba yung mug? Paano ko magagamit yung mug? Wala man lamang inscription. Papalagyan ko pa na inscription pag ako gamitin. Abo, ano? Anyway, <laughs> to begin, uh, kami nga sa inyo, no, nadaanan nyo na ninyo ito, pero medyo updated itong presentation na ito. Updated pero shorter, uh, a little bit shorter. Okay? With new information. Uh, Uh, this is about the art of creating type uh, typefaces. So, karamihan sa inyo, alam na ninyo ang difference between when I say typefaces and when I say font, alam na ninyo yung difference. So, huwag na muna na pag-usapan yun. Uh, first question, okay? Are you a typographer? Dali na nga, hindi nag... Yun. Hindi siya tumatakbo ng maayos. Kailangan ko yun itang i-reshare. Sa dali na ha, i-reshare ko lang siya. In the meantime, sige, habang ni-reshare ni... share ko lang. Sabi ni Dennis, nagalit yung gitara. Ano kaya eh, Dennis? Naintriga ako sa klase niyo sa VGD. <laughs> Tsaka, bakit, anong tag na to? May fan club daw si Sir Tony sa klase niyo. Ba't kami ni Sir June wala? <laughs> Nainggit pala. <laughs> si Maria Francis. Oh my mug. Yeah. Isa na kayo na mug? Meron silang gift sa amin. Well, that was, ano, four batches kasi yun, no? So, ang favorite time ko na nung kainan na, siyempre. Nung graduation. Wala yung sapatos. Na, na-imagine ko yung tawa ni Dennis. Very hearty yung tawa, yung tawa niya. Very infectious. Di tutugtog yung kitara pag wala yung sapatos. <laughs> Gutom na yata okay. si Dennis. Ready na, okay. ready na. Alright, take okay. it away. Okay, so first question. Pwede ninyo sagutin ito, no? Habang dire-direcho ako magpapresent, you can answer this in the chat box. Are you a typographer? So, we'll, we'll address that later on after the presentation. Okay? So, next. What is typography? So, typography is basically the art of designing typefaces in modern day terminologies, the study and application of type. If you are uh, if you are working as a graphic designer or anything that uh, you're, you're actually working with type or any form of letter or communication using letters and uh, alphabets, you uh, you're basically that's basically typography. Okay, so let's proceed with a brief history of type. Okay, what does this look like? Sagutin na lang ninyo din sa chat. Okay. In 1040, movable type was invented in China. This is actually blocks of wood that have carvings of Chinese characters, and then uh, they arrange it in a simple block or box. They put ink on it, and then they put on the paper to create to transfer the ink, and therefore. This is basically printing, okay? But uh, Gutenberg was basically credited for the movable type, but he he, he didn't uh, actually create movable type, but he did invent the process of mechanical, uh, mechanical printing. So he invented the mechanical printing press with movable type, and with it, he printed the very, very first Uh, mass-produced book. Uh, pakilagay sa chat kung ano yung, ano yung mass-produced book na yun. If you know what the mass-produced book is, please put it in the chat. Okay? And also, he, in, he developed or created the first typeface black letter. Now, uh, he followed uh, the design or the handwriting uh, strokes of Uh, monks, uh, dati kasi, no, yung, yung uh, Bibles before, mga documents before, were all written by hand by monks. Okay? To speed up the process and to maximize, to, to, to make 
a lot more copies available. Okay, he developed the the printing press to mass produce uh, books as well as develop the first typeface. Now back then, this typeface wasn't really uh, that readable because it had many many fancy strokes. Uh, in that case, okay, Nicholas Jensen created the very very first Roman type, which make it make it uh, made text more readable as compared to black letter. Now, black letter is more decorative, whereas this one is more legible. Okay, just do a little, a little bit of research and uh, uh, with regards to the first Roman type in Nicholas Jensen. Okay. Uh, sorry. And then, in 1501, Aldous Manusius created the first italics to fit more words onto a page. Okay? But nowadays, hindi na natin masyado ginagamit yung italics in terms of using it in a whole block of text. Instead, we use italics to highlight certain words or parts of uh, sentences or phrases or paragraphs. Okay? But wala sumasagot sa, sa chat. Okay? Also, Abs Manusius is the inspiration behind Aldous Pagemaker. Now, if you're not familiar with Aldous Pagemaker, it's because this was in uh, this was in the late 90s. So, masyadong kilala ng karamihan ngayon ng mga graphic designers uh, but Aldous Page Maker is the predecessor of Adobe in design okay and this is this is a tribute uh, Aldous Page Maker is a tribute to Aldous Manusius okay and also there's an Aldous na typeface now in 1734 William Castle created a typeface with straighter serifs and more obvious contrast between thin and bold strokes. Okay, this is now called old style. Okay, you know, if, if you if you're familiar with Caslon, okay, it's now called old, old style. And in 1757, 1757, John Baskerville created what is now known as transitional type. Okay, with very sharp serifs and a lot of drastic contrast between thick and thin lines and also slight yung stress, slightly angled na lang yung stress with the curved letters. Now, John Baskerville created, uh, wait, okay, at yung Baskerville, tumalun lang yung, okay. 1780, Berman Davidot and Giambattista Bodoni created the first modern Roman typefaces. Uh, they have serifs, okay, but they're not really curved. They're sharper and straighter. And then, Vincent Piggins created Egyptian or slab serif, meaning squarish na yung serif niya, makapal yung serif, almost as thick as the main stroke of the Face. Now, William Paslaw the fourth, yung gra great, uh, great, great, a uh, great grandson ni William Caslon, siya yung nag-create na very, very first typeface without any serifs. Uh, this is what we now know as sans serif typefaces. Okay? Now, God, uh, Frederick Gaudi became the world's first Malon yung aking presentation Babalikan lang natin ng konti Ayaw bumalik So dali lang, technical difficulty Basker Bell Okay, 
In 1920s, Frederick Gaudi became the uh, world's first full-time designer, developing, developing numerous groundbreaking typefaces such as copper plate. Okay, copper plate, ginagamit siya sa mga signage ng buildings. Gothic, Kenner, uh, sorry, Kennerly and Gaudi old style. Now, these are classic typefaces that we, some people still use today. Uh, some people can identify it immediately because there are so many, many versions of these typefaces hindi na madali with very minor differences between them. Minsan mahirap na rin ma-identify which specific Gaudi it is. Kasi with Gaudi alone, there's about 100 or so variants of the Gaudi font. Anyway, so Stanley Morrison developed Times New Roman from an older typeface and then a Times Roman and Times New Roman are basically uh, very, very similar with slight variances. So this is Times. Did you know that uh, kaya sa tinawag na Times is because sa Times Magazine siya ginamit? Ay, hindi pala sa, Times, sa, sa Time Magazine, sa New York Times. Okay? Doon siya unang ginamit kasi yung si Stanley Morrison, uh, he actually criticized the publisher ng New York Times and uh, ang pangit nung book na ginamit nila, yung typeface na ginamit nila. So, he was actually commissioned to create a new typeface. Now, he based type the, that typeface, yung Times, Times New Roman, from Plantin. Medyo malayo, no? But this is basically uh, the basis for Times. So, so Times is so ubiquitous, it's so common, it's so familiar that... Uh, Whenever we see someone uh, give us a, a calling card and it looks like times, it, it probably is. Okay? Now, a Swiss designer Max Mendinger created New Has Grotesque. Hindi ito yung song ng, ano, no, ng uh, na Du Hast, okay? Pero it sounds the same. New Has Grotesque. The most loved typeface of our time. But we do not know that particular typeface has new has grotesque. Okay, can anyone guess kung ano yung new has grotesque in modern times? Yung very, very familiar, very, very popular, very common, laging ginagamit ng tao. Pag nakita mo yung isang government document, it's most probably that particular typeface. Can anyone guess? Can anyone guess? Myriad Pro? No. 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 Okay. Mas, mas maganda Myriad Pro. Konti na lang, Michelle. Ano pa yung isang pinaka-common? Ano yung pinaka-common? Arial. Hindi Arial. Kasi Arial nasa taas siya, di ba? Nasa gitna siya ng ating font list sa system. Yung pinaka-common. Okay? Anyway, it's actually... Helvetica. Okay? Helvetica is the most ubiquitous. It's the most popular. It's the most used typeface even today. Okay? And a little bit of trivia. Okay? Helvetica was derived from Helvetia, the female personification of Switzerland. Okay? When... Uh, when Max Medinger created this typeface, uh, it was to honor Switzerland, his country, Switzerland. And this uh, Helvetica was actually based from an earlier typeface, Accident Grotesque, designed by Gunther B uh, Gerhard Lang in 1896. Okay? Oh, Gio, nandito si Gio, tsaka si Duwana pala. Okay? So, yung accidents grotesque, if you check, uh, do a little bit of research later, accidents grotesque and Vetica look very much similar with each other. Now, classifications of type. We have, of course, the serif. Okay? After black letter, the very, very first typeface that was created were serifs. And then, of course, we have 
the sanserif. The sanserif simply means no serif or none serif. So sanserif, tinanggalan mo siya ng serif, yung mga yeah, extensions uh, to, uh, on the ends of your typefaces or fonts, kaya siya tinawag na sanserif. Script. Okay, script is more handwritten, same as calligraphic, and black letter, we mentioned it earlier, is actually also calligraphic. Okay? Last, uh, we also have grunge, uh, I mga modern, modern day typefaces na to, they don't really follow any straightforward rules when designing their designing is they're more for they're more for aesthetics and decorative uh, effect uh, rather than readability so meron tayong grunge this one is in particular use uh, mga comics as uh, sound effects na mga either na dudurog na bato or mga uh, fighting scenes in comic books okay and of course hindi mo wawala yung comic Type, comic book typefaces or fonts when we are reading comic books most of them are actually handwritten now in modern times uh, the handwritten uh, typefaces of those letterers are converted into actual usable fonts so mas mabilis na ngayon mag letter dati kasi like yung mga olden days na monks comics are uh, lettered drawn, inked, and lettered by hand. Nowadays, kamihan, a digital na. Even, the, even the, the sketching of the letters, even the lettering itself is now digital. Okay? So, also, we have the ornamentals or the symbols or the icons. Okay? There's a lot of these everywhere. Uh, the most popular, actually, and the most used, and one of the oldest uh, ornamental or symbol fonts is dingbats or zap dingbats. Okay? Now, the anatomy of type. What is, uh, what are the parts of a typeface? Primarily, this is a typeface. This is a set of two letters. One is capital, one is lowercase. And this is measured several ways. One, is, one has the ascender height. Okay, you, you often see these lines uh, when designing typefaces. You have the ascender height. You have the uppercase or cap height. You have the ascender line. This is where the ascender of a letter actually starts from the x height of or the height the lower x height of a letter okay you also have the baseline and the descender line now sometimes it, uh, the line that you see here in the middle it moves either up or down depending on the design of the face okay now that we know how to measure or, or how to distinguish the parts of, uh, well, where the parts of the typeface is going to be, let's go to our actual parts. So this one, this sentence here actually shows all of the parts or all, uh, all of the sections of a typeface. Now, uh, in most cases nowadays, okay, this basically applies to serif typefaces. Not all of these parts will be present on a sans typeface, a script, or decorative typefaces, or even black letter. So let's go. Let's proceed. The aperture is the opening. It's that slight distance between uh, two vertical sections of, uh, of a letter. Next, we have the arm. This is the horizontal stroke that extends from the vertical stroke of or stem of a, of a letter. 
also have the ascender. The ascender is that particular section of the vertical stem of a lowercase letter that extends upward from the x height or the lowercase height into the ascender line. Okay? Next, you have the bowl. That's the shape inside any circular or curved shape. You have the counter. See that I, I actually changed the position of the counter and the bowl so they are away from each other. So you can uh, quickly see the difference between them. The counter actually encloses the bowl of any letter. So crossbar, this one uh, connects two vertical or diagonal strokes of a letter. So the capital letter H actually also has a crossbar here. Next, we have the diagonal. The, of course, uh, you have vertical and horizontal strokes. Anything that is at an angle is called the diagonal stroke. You have the descender. Uh, contrary to the ascender is the descender. If the ascender is on top, the descender, is, of course, logically goes down from the baseline. Okay? The small letter P, Q, Y, G uh, all have senders you have the ear only one particular letter the lowercase g of certain set of five faces have the ear which in turn uh, doesn't have the pineal the pineal is the end the taper end stroke of a set of five face and you have the hairline. The hairline is that thinnest part of a curved stroke. Okay? You have the ligature. The ligature is a combination of certain two letters like uh, F and L, F and I. Now they become interconnected at the topmost part. Okay? And if it's FI, the, uh, the period or the dot on top of the eye disappears, replaced by the end point of the, the the end stroke of your small letter F. Next, we have the link. Again, only the small letter G has this. Small letter G of certain serif typefaces have a link because it links the loop to the main stroke, uh, circular stroke of the letter G, okay? So again, these three parts, the ear, the link, and the loop only exists in the small letter G of certain uh, set of faces. You have the lowercase letter, of course, the lowercase letter is the one that consumes or extends to the x height from the baseline and you have the shoulder the shoulder is that particular stroke okay that extends from a vertical stroke to the next vertical stroke in particular the letter h the letter m the letter n the small the lowercase h m n and in some cases uh, certain capital letters that do not have uh, vertical or horizontal, well, they have vertical and horizontal strokes, but they don't have diagonals. They are co a combination of vertical strokes and a shoulder, okay? Next, the serifs. Uh, the serifs are the smallest, those small extensions uh, the one on the letter H, on the bottom of the letter H are your horizontal series, whereas the one on top here, okay, the one on top here is a, uni uh, is a unilateral serif. okay? Next, we have the small caps. Uh, this is a capital letter. Now, the small caps is also a capital letter, 
but is only at the height of a of the of lowercase letters. Pardon me, I'm adjusting my my uh, cable. Next, we have the spine for the letter S. S spine snake. It looks like an uh, uh, an essing snake, okay? Next, you have the stem, which is the vertical stroke of any letter. The tail occurs in uh, capital letters R and Q. In some cases, the letter Q does not have a tail, but a small spur at the bottom in some, uh, in some designs. And you also have the uppercase, okay? The uppercase is the, the largest letter in an alphabet. And you have that small uh, spur. And it's a small protrusion outside the vertical stroke of certain letters, uh, serif letters. But in some cases, it also occurs in some uh, sensitive fonts and sensitive typefaces and other designs as well. The terminal, okay? The terminal is the end point, the end stroke of any letter like this. Uh, this is the terminal of the letter F. This is the terminal of the letter R. Okay? That is not, horizontal, that is not a straight stroke. Okay? Popular typefaces. Hi, Tony, before you yes. continue, uh, I just okay. want to uh, say hi to yung mga additional viewers natin. So you already mentioned Gio. He's watching from Batanga City. Uh, hello, Dal, Sir Tony. And then uh, Pauline was already here. Kathy Colette also says, good evening, Sir Tony. Do you remember Kathy Colette? Yeah, Kathy Colette. Oh, eight. A VGD. A VGD. Uh, and then earlier, may sumagot si Dennis Bible. I forgot to which question, but one of your questions has start, no? Bible, nakatama ba sila? And then I think it was Sir Carlo Messina, hi sir, who answered uh, Helvetica also. Helvetica. Yeah, uh, but is he Esteller Glamour also answered uh, Helvetica. But your but your answer is also a question with a question mark. So are you asking I'm just sure. are you telling? Hindi daw counted, Esteller. Okay. It's the, yes, the first uh, mass-produced book was the Bible, but which mm -hmm. particular Bible? It has a particular unique name. Nanandun na rin yung sagot dun sa presentation. Anyway, okay? Okay. So, and siguro, uh, kahabol lang, um, Dennis uh, asks, is K considered also diagonal? Yes. Siguro yung ganun yung K. Yung dalawang strokes ng K are diagonal. Diagonal. All right. Okay. okay. So, guys, remember, if you have any questions, just type it in the comment section. I leave you now again with Tony. Take it away. Okay. We're almost, well, we're almost done. So, popular typefaces. Helvetica, of course. Imuna ko siya because this is the most ubiquitous and most popular. Sabi nga ni Pauline, when in doubt, use Helvetica. And again, some people, when in doubt, they use Arial because it's the top. In, 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 uh, in our pop list sa computer natin, ano, pinaka-owner sometimes ang, ang, ang Arial. So, iba, inagamit ka agad, automatic Arial. Okay? In Windows, an automatic na default font when you start typing is actually Helvetica. In most cases, ah, so Mac, it's actually Myriad Pro now. Okay? May nagbangkit kanina ng Myriad Pro. I think it was, uh, it was Michelle. Okay? Ang default font natin sa Mac is Myriad. Okay? Next, we have Arial. Okay? Arial and Helvetica are, have always been mistaken to be the same fonts or the same typefaces, okay? Because they actually look, look the same, but they have very, very subtle, well, not really subtle differences between certain letters. 
Of course, yung H and H at M, they look similar. Kaya madaling ma-mistake ang Helvetica with Arian. Then you have Avant-Garde. Avant-Garde is one of my favorite uh, typefaces. But unfortunately, this, does, this doesn't really read well in some documents. Okay? It has a very, very nice uh, combination of shapes na geometrical, circular yung iba, triangular, square yung iba. Okay? This is a geometric font. Much like, also, ang ganda ng letter R niya, oh. Look at the letter R of uh, avant-garde. And then, there's Futura. Futura and avant-garde actually share similar, uh, similar characteristics as they are both geometric fonts. Okay? And, of course, Mirad Pro. Mirad Pro, is uh, if Helvetica was uh, termed to termed before by uh, Pauline as when in doubt Helvet use Helvetica. Now when I'm in doubt I use Myriad. Kasi yan usually una lumalabas when I start typing. Okay? Now challenge which among these typefaces is Helvetica? Dali lang yan. Which one? Okay, uh, please answer uh, sa chat. Ang hirap naman, naduling ako bigla, pero magandang question niya. See? <laughs> Di ba? So, when, when uh, okay lang at hindi niyo masagot. When you have all of these similar looking typefaces, one next to each other without knowing their names, it's hard to, it's hard to decipher which one is which kasi they look basically the same. But in some letters, like for example, H M H A M B U looks similar up to this point for these two. Okay? Simply lang yan. Chronological lang yan based on my presentation. Nina una ko. It's Helvetica. And then it was Arial. This is Helvetica. The first one is Helvetica. The second one is Arial. Pagdating sa letter R, sa letter G, okay, makikita mo yung difference. Okay, and then in some cases, some of the letters, some of the lower uh, lower case letters have slight differences that you can uh, detect. Ang Helvetica, lahat ng strokes niya is horizontal and vertical, whereas yung Arial has a slight angle to the end point ng letter S or letter B and letter C. But you can check it later on. Second one is Helvetica. No, this one is Arial. Okay? So, Sayang, may pakotse pa naman tayo ngayon. Oh, Hindi nila nasagot. Yung ano? <laughs> Joke. <na>. Yung <laughs> car? <laughs> anyway, anyway, okay? Uh, again, sabi nga ni Pauline, when in doubt, use Arial. Correct? No, no, use Helvetica. So anyway, these two are the most common with each other because they are basically from the same, uh, they, they make it basically came from the same typeface, which is accidents grotesque. Medyo tinanggal lang yung spur ng letter G for the, for the version of Arian. Okay, but they look very similar. Now, distinction between uh, Futura and uh, this is uh, avant-garde and Futura, Futura, okay, you can clearly see certain differences with the letters A, M, B, R, and, well, B, A, B, A, A, M, B, R, okay? G, mas mahaba yung stroke ng, uh, ng avant-garde, and yung S, okay? Of course, Futuro has sharper end points dun sa corner niya, uh, sharper corners when it comes to the uh, connecting uh, triangular shape uh, strokes of the of the font. Whereas here, flat pa rin yung mga strokes niya. Okay? And of course, Myriad is actually uh, parang conglomeration. It's actually a mix of all these typefaces together. Okay, may mga certain uh, characteristics of each of these four fonts that are combined to create 
uh, Miriam. Okay? Now, let's proceed. Times, of course, is in, in, in set of typefaces, times is the most used. It's the most common. It's the Helvetica of serifs. Okay? But times is actually older than uh, Helvetica. Okay? Caslon. Caslon is older than times. Okay? Caslon is one of the very, very first typefaces dinamit after yung Jensen. Next is Garamon. And then, you have Gaudi. Now, uh, yung modern day version, Minion. When I say modern day version, it's not a modern day version of a pod, but of the serif typeface. Okay? Now, side by side, uh, one, on, uh, one on top of each other. Okay, this is Times. Uh, okay, even now, I'm having a little bit of trouble determining which of these spots are from each other. This is Times. This is Caslon. This is Garamon, Gaudi, and the other one. Ayan, I forgot na. Anyway, mahirap din i-distinguish yung mga serif typefaces from one another. But they are still, they have distinct differences from each other. Like for example, you know it's times when the letter T is flat on top. Okay? You know it's Garamond or Gaudi when it has that stroke, uh, that, that spur on top of the letter T. Like so. Okay? So, these are basically a combination. Uh, minion is actually a combination of all these four typefaces as well. Okay? So, Myriad is a modern day combination of all the earlier sans serif or grotesque fonts. And Minion is the combination of all those previous serif fonts. But, let me ask you. What is this typeface? You should know because I taught you this. VGD. VGD. Dapat alam ninyo I pointed this out to you in particular. Bawi. This Bawi one, and great. <laughs> minion. Hindi minion ko. Katatapos lang natin sa minion. Dennis eh. Bawiin yun. Bawiin yung ano, great ni Dennis. <laughs> ano ba to? Uh... Uh, sans serif ni... o serif? What well, someone knows? Very good. Rigil Kent Ricardo, shout out. <laughs> shout out, Rigil. Very good. This is Optima. This is one of my favorite typefaces. Okay? Optima is actually a combination. It's a, it's a humanist type. Okay? It has characteristics of a sans serif typeface but also certain uh, tweakings na mukha siyang serif. Okay? Now, how about this? Can you determine what typeface is this? BGD, pinakita ko rin sa inyo to. BGD! Anyway, mauubutan tayo ng oras, ano? This, of course, is one of my own designs Neo Babe. Okay? And Neo Babe is parang uh, it does not really follow any of the rules of serif and sans serif but uh, uses a lot of combinations. Okay? It does not have uh, any clear distinction between strokes and curves but it has a certain touch to it. Okay? It looks Kind of like Optima, na merong uh, both serif and sans serif qualities, but not really. Kasi merong ka very, very thin parts here. This is more decorative rather than legible typeface. Okay? Now, quickly, designing type. So, I usually design type by using certain, uh, a single shape. Particular, in particular, let's say rectangle, and then I tweak just one of the uh, corners, okay, to create a variant stroke. 
So this one here are a set of rectangles, vertical uh, thick rectangles, and horizontal thin rectangles. And then I tweak one of the corners to make a triangular uh, shape here. And on the other side here, to create a slightly diagonal stroke. Okay? Now, in Illustrator, I, I use Illustrator to create these shapes, but you can also use a certain certain font uh, tools to create these designs, okay? In particular, before a photographer, now you can also use font lab. And if you do research, you can find several font creation tools available for you for gamitin. Okay? But in Illustrator, I actually use uh, a plugin called Font Self Maker. Okay? I just designed it in Illustrator, drag those letters into the plugin, and I will be able to save a font out of it. Medyo limited nga lang, but it does the purpose. Okay? After that, if I need an italic version, uh, sorry, an oblique version, there's a distinct difference between italic and oblique. Okay? I simply use one of the tools of Illustrator to shear, okay, or uh, make it italic, and one of the effects to create a rounded corner version of it. Okay, so one design of a typeface can yield you several styles. In particular, this is the first one, which is I call jet stream. Italic of it, the, the italic or the oblique of it is the slip stream. Para nag slip siya, nag italize. Uh, you remember Michael Jackson, right? You remember Michael Jackson? Yung yung nag nag italize niya. Hindi ko na siya okay. naabutan. Ah, uh, <laughs> 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 no, <okay. laughs> Now, softening the edges para siya sinunog, I call it the after burner, but this is vertical. And yung italic version after burner is the hard burn. Okay? One design, one design of a typeface, I get four typeface styles or technically four fonts. Any questions? Yun, smooth terminal. Oh, and one direction na naabutan ko. One direction, si Dennis, wow. uh, si Dennis oh. hanggang ano pa yan, Beatles, Bee Gees, and why nation. Okay, we're almost done. I, uh, we'll just go through these slides. These are some of the other typefaces I've done throughout the years. Okay, uh, this is my hand lettering. Okay. And then, of course, as a tribute to one of the greatest uh, artists, comic book artists in the Philippines, Jerry Alangilan, yung handwritten font niya, yung, hand, yung handwriting niya ginawa kong font. Way, way back pa, he was still alive. Okay? And then, I have here a few uh, links for you to, uh, to check. Okay? We can leave it here for the meantime. Uh, you can check all of these for additional research. Ano ang difference ng italics at ng oblique? Uh, well, you have to enroll our class because you yung magiging uh, part ng, uh, ng, ng storytelling namin there. Okay? So, ano, medyo suspense, Rigil. Join ka sa class. Yeah. Ayan. Okay. So, we are done. Any Hi, questions? Okay. All right. Actually, we have one. So, yun, no? yung question ni Rizil, yung difference ng oblique and italics. So, that's uh, one of the key features sa uh, regular class. Uh, hopefully, you can join that one. Na-intriga din ako. Gusto ko tuloy sumama. But Estelor uh, Glamour asks, what is the rule for combining typefaces? We've already uh, discussed that's a VGD class na din sa typography, remember? Yeah. For remember? the other viewers, yeah. Maybe the other viewers are... Ah, for the other viewers. Uh, yeah. uh, okay, uh, usually we combine uh, serif and sans serif. Like, uh, if you check yung, yung newspapers and magazines, usually take dark ser uh, sans serif and then thin uh, serif typeface. Uh, body text and a combination of serif 
uh, sun sensitive type faces na thick and then thin and then thinner. Okay? Yun yung mga usual combinations. You have script and serif or script and sans serif. Okay? But we never really combine uh, different sans serif typeface, uh, serif typefaces with each other. Like for example, uh, times saka Garamond, they look too similar for, for a proper combination. Ariel and Helvetica, they look too similar. And I've seen recently a document na hindi ko maintindihan yung Helvetica dito, may Ariel dito, merong boto, may merong uh, Tahoma dito, binagit ni Dennis, Tahoma. Okay, halo-halo. So, anyway. Yeah. Uh, Rachel, then, uh, yeah. we have introduction to typography and typeface design. This is, it's basically this with an extension uh, demonstration of how to design the typeface. Plus, I, we're actually developing uh, typeface design uh, as a two-day class. Medyo, medyo matatagalan na ng konti kasi kinangan siya na we're still deciding kung magiging uh, face-to-face class siya or either blended or full online then. Yeah. Okay, kasi medyo kailangan ng konting sketching din in, in, some, in some regards eh. Mm-hmm. Ang galing nga, okay. eh. sabi mo handwriting mo, yung isang pinakita mo sa slide. Ang galing. Yeah, this one. I'm writing ko yan. Yeah. Pero this one sa computer na. Same here, uh-huh. computer na siya. This one sa papel using a ballpoint pen. Grabe. And then I simply, I simply converted it into outlines in Adobe Illustrator. Nice, nice. Okay. Merong mga okay. Nag, nag-text sa akin ng question. So, ibang viewers na kakilala ko, nahihiya daw silang ilagay sa chat. So, um, yung isang question, may, may yung terms down na typeface, type, tsaka font, may difference ba yung, yung tatlong yun? They have to enroll. <laughs> okay. So, sorry. Yung mga... Add- Yung mga, VG, mga VGD, uh, alam na nila yun, supposedly. Mm-hmm. Dapat tatatandaan mm-hmm. yan, ano? But to give you a hint, okay, a typeface is basically what you see on the screen and a font mm-hmm. is what you actually use. Okay? okay. So, so, the correct can... term to use, are they, are they interchangeable, roughly, are they? Uh, in modern terminologies, people rough people uh, use, uh, what font is this when they're describing something uh, they're seeing on print? Uh, yun na yung but, layman, uh, no? Yun na yung nakasanayan. Yun, yun yung pinaka, oh, so, but uh, if we're going to be strict with the terminologies, they're hmm. still two distinct things. Okay, okay. okay. Um, and then, so you gave yung uh, how to combine uh, fonts, no? Pero, um, for someone who's not creative. Okay. Uh, kailan nagiging pangit yung isang say, type, uh, isang text ng isang nakalayout? Kailan siya nagiging pangit? Kailan siya nagiging maganda? Siguro if you're gonna give just ano, three three pointers, kailan siya pangit? And three pointers, kailan siya nagiging, ano nagpapaganda? Yeah. Okay. Uh, first and foremost, pag gumamit ng isang katerbang fonts, pangit ka ka dyan. So, mm-hmm. sa katerban tayo faces. Okay? Mm-hmm. Pangalawa, kapag ang, ang uh, pag, pag pareho yung styles, kunwari gumamit siya ng isang layout na meron siyang headline, meron siyang body, okay? Pare-pareho lang ng style, meaning pare-pareho lang ng, ng, ng size, ng font, pare-pareho lang na bold, okay? Lahat naka-bold. So, yeah. ganun, lahat manipis, mukhang bland yung ano, yung, yung layout. Pangatlo, dapat alam ninyo to. Okay, pangatlo, pag gumamit ng Comic Sans. Comic Sans? Ko, <laughs> Comic Sans. Uh, inisip ko, inisip ko, I had to, ano, to visualize. <laughs> Paano ko sa comics ginamit? No one uses in, in comics. No one uses comic sense. Okay. okay. It, it's either they get uh, a license, they get a license from 
yung mga isang katerpang fonts na handwritten fonts for comic books or they design their mm. own. Okay? Uh, okay. And then, kailan siya nagpapaganda? Ano yung three? Na, uh, may, for someone who's not creative, no? Uh, ano tawag na to? Ano yung tatlong kailangan nila tandaan? Bukod dun sa yeah, no knows. Yung combination, uh, to, pag, if you have a small, uh, you have a small area with a lot mm. of text, no, no, mm. kagad yun, okay? Uh, if you have a large area with little text, there should be something in the middle. Pangalawa, pangatlo, comic sense of it. Okay. <laughs> Don't okay. use comic sense. Don't okay. use, uh, uh, well, don't take my word for it, okay? Uh, you can mm-hmm. actually do research. It, it looks appealing to them. If they're not, uh, kasi ganun, iba yung eye ng graphic designer na sanay na sa pagtingin ng mga ganitong layouts. Yung sa mata mm-hmm. ng, uh, ng layman na tao, mukhang maganda na sa kanya. Sa, sa karamihan ng tao, ang ganda ng comic sense, eh. Okay? <laughs> Totoo ba? Okay. I never, ang favorite font ko. Yeah, I, Nisip ko to uh, na yun yung favorite font ko. But definitely, hindi rin Comic Sans. Magbubuo nga ako uh, ng group ko for the Comic Sans lovers. <laughs> with Jim, with Jim, I've actually, I think I've seen that, uh, that, that uh, video or article uh, uh, depending Comic Sans. Okay. And, uh, so, uh, si Sunny is also here. Yeah, hi, Sunny. Ayan. So, uh, say, so here's Sunny. another instructor, no? Okay. Ano favorite font ko? Actually, favorite font ko, I mentioned it earlier, is Optima. Optima. Okay? Uh, Pwede kong buhati yung bangko ko. Sabihin ko, pinaka-favorite ko is uh, one of my fonts, but no, it's still Optima. It's, still, it's my most favorite. Yes. Also, uh, if it's if it comes to actual usage, it's uh, myriad. Myriad. But I know then. Now, sabi ni Estelar Glamour. Why did Comic Sans get a bad rap? Oo nga. Na intriga din tuloy ako. Okay. Gusto ko rin tuloy panoorin yung sabi ni Rigel na. Uh, you, you can you can ano you can you, do. No? You can uh, watch and research about why Comic Sans has a bad rap, but uh, it's simply, as in a designer's point of view, it doesn't really look nice as a font. You can't really use it as if you uh, if you use it for comic comics, it looks mm. uh, poorly done. If you yeah. use it for memes, yes, uh, it's Comic Sans is perfect for memes. Mm-hmm. I assure you. When you put comic sense on a meme, pato ang meme ninyo. But for other, but for other purposes, it's uh, it, even though it's actually ubiquitous na, no? and it's actually popular, maraming gumagamit, they can still appreciate it without the design uh, mentality in mind. Okay? Maraming gumagamit ng comic sense. But as a graphic designer, uh, it's something I wouldn't use even for a meme. Okay, so anyway, anyway. <laughs> okay, that's very interesting. It's it's just very it's I find it amazing how yung kono yung typeface na gagamitin sa, sa for a specific purpose greatly affects how viewers will feel about that, no? I mean, yeah. we don't think about it that much, pero malaki yung impact no. niya talaga. One good example is, uh, hindi mo gagamitin ng comic sense for a corporate uh, brochure. Mm-hmm. Definitely, right? Hindi ka rin gagamit <laughs> ng fancy smancy na, na custom type na ang gulo-gulo for a corporate. You still, sabi nga ni Pauline, when in doubt, hell best ka. <laughs> And that's yeah. the reason why a lot of corporate, government, uh, official documents, either Helvetica or Arial ang ginagamit nila. Tignan mo yung sa Tesla natin, either Helvetica or Arial na yan. Wala kang makikita gumagamit ng Tahoma kasi ang Tahoma hindi siya readable at certain, oh. at certain settings, di ba? So maganda ang Tahoma. 
Don't get me okay. wrong. Maganda ang Roma. Uh, it's like Verdana and Mac. So, okay. Verdana is one of my... It's not really my favorite, but I, I, I actually use Verdana before. Ako rin. I like Verdana. Kaso ngayon, ang naka-default kasi ngayon sa aking Calibri. Pero namimiss ko si Verdana. Gusto ko siya. <laughs> Sabi ni, ni Sunny, uh, blame Vincent... Conner? Is that how you say it? The creator of Comic Sans? Ah, okay. Can you talk, you know, a short, short history ng Comic Sans kung bakit siya, it was supposedly going to be used for yung bagong version ng Windows. I, I, I don't, uh, bagong version ng Windows before. Okay, I'm mm-hmm. not sure if it's going to be Windows XP. Siya yung lumalabas na pop-up na instructional cartoon oh. na merong dialog yun yung dapat okay. talabas na pod. Eh, yun nga, hindi nag-work yung pod kasi ang pangit. So, mm-hmm. uh, doon ata pumasok si, Cali- si either si Calibri or si Tahoma, yun yung ginamit mm-hmm. at that yeah. point. Oh. Okay, if I, am I right? Am I right? Uh, Microsoft POB, sabi ni Sunny. Sabi ni Inside sabi ni Inside MJ, Joker Man po. Ano yung Joker Man po? Ano yung Joker Man? Si Joker Man gamit is, ano, uh, Comic Sans. Ah, uh, okay. There you go. Wow, okay. Parang ano, hindi kasi ako graphic artist, no? So, very alien sa akin yung mga ano usapan about fonts uh, but i find it very interesting so maybe uh, oh. i should join one of your classes para classmates well, kami ni Rigil uh. <laughs> Joverman is not really a legible font it's a display font pang ano siya mm. pang panggawa na ano but still this is better than comic sans uh, yeah. ayan anyway all right. Okay. So, any more questions? Okay, mukhang okay na sila. Well, thank you. Thank you, everyone, uh, for joining us. So, again, yung, yung class ni, ni Tony is Introduction to Typography and Typeface Design. That's uh, the next session is on August 2nd, 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Yeah, so baka may ibang oh, class pa oh, Tony. Oh, uh, yeah, pahabol. Ano, I have yung mga interesado mag-attend ng AI Essentials. We have uh, a class on June 14, 14 to 18 at 9 a.m. Mm-hmm. And another one, malayo pa yung susunod. And then we have advanced AI, advanced Adobe Illustrator on the 28th naman. 28, 29th, mm-hmm. and 30th. Okay. okay. And we have an upcoming uh, uh, new class. Okay. Actually, uh, expanded class to the labels and packaging design. How to, design, oh. uh, how to do uh, effective labels and packaging. Uh, nasa na rin ito ng, ano, ng BGD. So, at the expanded version on, uh, on the 12th to 14th ng July. Mm-hmm. All right. So that's All Illustrator, right. June 14th to 18th. And then Advanced Illustrator, June 28th to 30th. And then the last one is, uh, what's the last class? Uh, labels and uh, labels. Designing Effective Labels and Packaging. All right. Good. Lalo ngayon, maraming online sellers ngayon. And very important, no, how you brand, yung branding mo, no? Uh, we also have other classes at ECCI, like yung uh, Kickstart Your Freelance Business Today. So I think ito magandang pag, ano, pagsamasamahin na courses because it will all mesh together uh, to come up, uh, to help you come up with a good branding. All right. So uh, next week, uh, sorry, hindi next week, pero this June also, we have another YouTube live uh, session, pero it's a surprise, but it's good for graphic designers. So, at saka sa mahilig mag-drawing. So, mahilig ka mag-illustrate. Yan. So, uh, actually, pwede rin siya sa mga kids, lalo na. So, kung may mga chikitin kayo, hatakin nyo sila sa YouTube session. So, you have to subscribe to our channel and hopefully, na-like nyo na yung, ano, you're following 
uh, our social media account so that when we announce it, you can join that uh, YouTube live session. Again, it's of course free. So to know more about these courses and to sign up for our virtual classes, hopefully yung iba makita rin sa photography, no? Si Dennis okay na, matagal na kami, ano, nagkasama, ilang buwan din yun. Uh, dun sa photography naman, NC2. Uh, just go to our website, www.pci.edu.ph and follow us in our social media accounts. And kung hindi ba kayo nakasubscribe sa, ano, YouTube, show some love and subscribe no so to get uh, notified so again tony thank you very much and thank you so much students you tony you're very supportive uh sana you also support our other uh, youtube live sessions and share this to our friends so thank you tony that's it for tonight everyone thank you for spending your saturday night with us and we hope that you learned a little something uh from this session so continue learning with pcci anywhere anytime stay safe everyone bye bye